if you're even slightly familiar with Cold War history, then you probably know who Laika is. But just in case you don't, she was the intrepid dog sent into orbit aboard the Sputnik 2 spacecraft. Unfortunately for little Laika, that trip to space was a one-way journey. But not all of the dogs used in the Soviet space program died. In fact, the vast majority of them lived. For example, there's the case of Belka, meaning squirrel, and Strelka, meaning little arrow. These two street dogs were the first creatures to successfully return from space. Although technically, they were far from alone on that journey. They were also accompanied by a rabbit, some rats, dozens of mice, and even some flies. But the dogs were no doubt the star of the show. These dogs were picked up off the streets of Moscow because it was assumed that street dogs would be tougher and thus more able to withstand the rigors of space travel. They were also all female due to the more gentle temperament, but also because the urine collecting apparatus in the spacesuits were designed specifically for female dogs. Look how cute they are in their little spacesuits. For little Strelka, however, the rags to riches story does not end here. After returning from space, she had six puppies with another dog from the space program named Pushok. The birth of these puppies made news all over the world, especially in the US which was desperately trying and so far failing to keep up in the space race against the Soviet Union. And so it was that this news found its way to First Lady Jackie Kennedy. Kennedy's daughter recalls it like this. She was sitting next to Khrushchev at a state dinner in Vienna. She ran out of things to talk about, so she asked about the dog, Strelka, that the Russians had shot into space. During the conversation, my mother asked about Strelka's puppies. She went on to say, A few months later, a puppy arrived and my father had no idea where the dog came from and couldn't believe that my mother had done that. Pushinka joined the other dogs in the Kennedy family, Wolf, Clipper, Shannon, and a Welsh terrier named Charlie. Charlie took a particular liking to Pushinka, and not long after, the two had puppies of their own. Naturally, people all over the country were clamoring to have a dog of such pedigree, a presidential father and a cosmonaut mother. Two of the puppies, Butterfly and Streaker, were given to families in the Midwest, while the others, White Tips and Blackie, were given to family friends. Here's an excerpt from a letter from Kennedy to Khrushchev thanking him for the gift. Mrs. Kennedy and I were particularly pleased to receive Pushinka. Her flight from the Soviet Union to the United States was not as dramatic as the flight of her mother. Nevertheless, it was a long voyage and she stood it well. We both appreciate you remembering these matters in your busy life. We send you, your wife, and your family our very best wishes. Sincerely yours, John F. Kennedy. From this letter, you would hardly assume that these two countries were teetering on the brink of war. But almost exactly one year later, Kennedy and Khrushchev would be facing off in the Cuban Missile Crisis. It's not an exaggeration to say that warm gestures, like the giving of the puppy Pushinka, is what allowed cooler heads to prevail through that crisis, and it may have been what saved us all from nuclear war.